we got uh, Genesis Collection, Persona 4, Ultimax Arena, Persona 4, regular arena, Mario Kart, Double Dash, Mario Kart 7, Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't believe it has the cards in it, uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Mario Party 9, Metroid Prime Echoes, Metroid, or not Metroid, Resident oh. Evil 4 Wii Edition, Rune Factory, Super Mario Bros. Wii, Guitar Hero Legends of Rock, Guitar Hero World Tour, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up, which I don't think we've ever had this game before. It also does not have its comic, but still really cool. Very cool trades. We got Twisted Metal Small Brawl, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, this Dreamcast game that snuck in, Capcom vs. SNK. We got Street Fighter uh, X Plus Alpha. We got Silent Bomber. Er Guys, it's a Square Enix fighting game. Dino Crisis 2, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero, Capcom vs. SNK 2, Silent Hill 2, Capcom Fighting Evolution, and Nightshade. Alright, so I'm going to show some of my recent pickups here at the store. Um, this one here, this was my personal copy. Um, it was the only player's choice. GameCube game I had in my personal collection, but then this non-player's choice version got traded in. So, swapping it out, taking this one home. Um, I also got the uh, Army Corps from Hell, which is like a, a Vita Pikmin type game. Uh, this is the Japanese version, but it's 100% in English, and the PlayStation Vita is region free. So that's real cool. Also, this finally came in from Limited Run. Huge shoot 'em up fan. This is one I've been waiting on for a long time. Espagluta 2. Real, real cool to have that. I should be getting the uh, little mini arcade cabinet that, uh, for it eventually as well. Also decided to keep a copy of MLB The Show 23. The MLB The Show games are extremely good. I hadn't played one. I had always wanted to play one, but I never got a chance to until 21 when it went to Game Pass. That was the first one I ever played. It was freaking amazing. Uh, so, went ahead and grabbed this one. I know they put out sports games every year, but I think this one's always going to be worth having because this is the first time that they there's a game mode in here that focuses specifically on the African American history uh, within the baseball. So I think that's real cool. It's going to be probably a unique thing to this specific game. So I think it's always going to be worth having this game just for that, if nothing else. Another GameCube game, finally got a copy of uh, Custom Robo traded in. For the longest time, we only ever had one of these, and it was a sealed one, so I didn't want that one. Also, got a Splatoon 3 Pro Controller. I'll be swapping out my regular Pro Controller for that. And last but not least, been wanting one of these for a long, long time. Got myself the Nintendo Switch Pee Pee Poo Poo Edition. <laughs> With the Pokemon... Pikachu and Eevee. I think this thing is adorable. I love the color of the Joy-Cons and the little dock. Been wanting one since it very, very first came out and uh, decided to finally just uh, go ahead and pull the trigger. I will say they look a little less pee-pee and poo-poo when you have the little strap things on them because then it's Eevee colored and hey, Pikachu you colored. Don't, you don't have to justify it. I'm just saying. <laughs> so right here, the little flap here, there's a little Pikachu and Eevee on it. Pretty adorable. Nice little detail. I did already open this up and take it out once and then had to put it back together. But uh, you got your uh, your EV Joy-Con here. Poo Poo Edition. <laughs> There's the Pikachu. Nice. And then the back of the console itself has these cool like laser etchings in it. Real cool. And then inside here, these little... These are the little side pieces for the Joy-Cons. I just think this is... These are the coolest Joy-Cons that exist, I think. They are so cool. Boom. They're beautiful. And then probably the best part is the dock. Aside from the Joy-Cons. The dock is freaking amazing. Oh. Love, it. Love it so much. The only drawback to this whole thing is that it's not an OLED, but of all the like standard edition Nintendo Switches or whatnot, the non-OLED ones, this is by far my favorite one. 
So, super happy to have that. The dock is super cute. Yeah. We've got really cool water bottle stickers here. Look at all these cute little Pokemons. Adorable. Got some orange kitties, some Katamaris. So, so cute. Adorable. Then we got this one. This one's mine. It's got some stickers and some weird scientist ones. And then we got Stevens. Yeah, a lot of some. these are custom designed by my yeah. girlfriend. So. These are all a lot of 999 stickers and an orange kitty. Yeah. Real cute. Hydrate or dehydrate. Hey, I'm showing some pickups I got. I got some cool GBA stuff. I got Final Fantasy 1 and 2. I got Banjo Kazooie, uh, Grunty's Revenge, which actually is canon. Um, it does have story, I guess, based off the N64 games, because I booted it up and it talked about the N64 games, which I haven't played yet, and I was like, oh, nice, spoilers. Um, I got Mega Man in base. I got this really cool Famicom Micro. And the game inside of it is probably, like, one of the coolest GBA games I have, but it is uh, Zone of the Enders, which I didn't even know they made one for the GBA. But the graphic style is really, really cool, and there's a bunch of cool animations, and it's pretty fun so far. Those are my pickups. We got some super, super, super crazy trades in. We got this beautiful Galaxy new 3DS XL, and you can already see what's below it, but this Sogaleo Lunala new 3DS XL. We got this Electric Blue Doorstop 3DS. Banjo Kazooie, Darkstalkers on PS1, Mario All Stars. We got some import games. We got Crash and we got uh, King of Fighters, as well as Uncharted on the Vita. That will go fast, so definitely pick it up. We got Spectrobes and Pearl, Heart Gold and Fossil League. We got this uh, GBA back in. It's been all fixed up. We got this beautiful Pikachu new 3DS XL. These are pretty hard to come by. It's in this really pretty pastel yellow. We got a blue slim PlayStation Vita. We got a metallic blue OLED PlayStation Vita. We got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. We got Chrono Trigger and Pokemon Sun. Animal Crossing City Folk. Link to the Past. And All Stars. We got Spider Man and X Men. This DMG. Floating Runner. Star Fox. Dragon Quest 7, uh, Turtles Tournament Fighter, Warzone, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Oddworld Abe's Exodus with some nasties on the case that needs to be wiped off, Wild Arms, Wild Arms 2, GTA Director's Cut, and Yu-Gi-Oh! And the thing that I breezed over is of course all of these Pokemon games with batteries replaced. Two copies of emeralds, two copies of yellow, and two copies of sapphire. So, this will probably be some of your guys' best chance to get Pokemon games. Hoping to have these out soonish. I don't know what that means in video time, but we do have a pretty good chunk of them. This may be one of the coolest PS4s, especially the controller. This is the Death Stranding edition. You can kind of see the lettering. But this thing is super, super pretty. I haven't played Death Stranding. I've heard mixed things. But you cannot deny that this PS4 is really, really cool. These are super cute, but we got the uh, Pez dispensers. It has a uh, KK, Tom Nook, and Isabel. And they are adorable. This is also quite excellent. Um, Judy made this really cool sign. And instead of happy birthday, it says happy Zelda day. Happy Zelda day, everybody. Happy launch of Tears of the Kingdom. We're back here. We're getting ready for the launch. We're about 15 minutes away. We got our cases. We got all these copies of Tears of the Kingdom. All these amiibos. They're sorting out pre-orders over here. Tons of pre-orders. 100 pre-orders. Hi, Steven. Hello. Are you ready? I am really not ready, but I'm super excited. So. All right. Sounds good. I love the enthusiasm. Yeah! <laughs> Judy, what are we doing over here? We're um, holding a raffle. So, uh, if you pre ordered with us, um, I'll give you a raffle ticket. Write down your name and phone number, and we'll put it in this very official raffle raffle thingy that currently has one thing in it. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> 
to be in it too. Sure. So, so we're here at the Zelda launch, and uh, me and Jorge are making it through. Are you excited for Zelda? Hell yeah. <laughs> So it's 9.30, we still got people over here. Judy's taking some pictures, Jeremy's helping out. We still got a line outside. He's only eight inches tall, so he'd be like, you're all big. So Marvel, have you ever had a launch this big before? No, this is definitely the biggest. Is this the most people that you've had too? Yeah, definitely. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so we, this is all the copies that we have. We got another small little bit. Jose Ortiz, right? Yep. Jorge. There you go. But here's all the yes. amiibos. Ooh. All right, so we had our Tears of the Kingdom launch. Um, how many copies did we order total? So we had 155 <laughs> copies, regular editions of Tears of the Kingdom. We had three collector's editions, 40 amiibo, 10 of the carrying cases, and just two pro controllers. Mm. But we sold out of absolutely everything <laughs> there's, over there, the weekend. There's not a single copy of Tears of the Kingdom left. We are getting more tomorrow, and we're filming this on Monday. More will be here tomorrow, Tuesday. So if you guys do want a copy, they should be back by the time this video goes up. But it was crazy. How many pre-orders did we have? We had a, a bit over 100. 100 and... Yeah, like 105 around there. Somewhere, somewhere between 100 and 110. Yeah. It was a lot. And we didn't like advertise it really at all, other than just posting on Instagram. We didn't have like signs up in the store saying it or anything. We should have, but we didn't. Yeah. But yeah, that was huge. It was huge. It was the biggest, biggest game release that we've ever had. The biggest, largest amount of pre orders we've ever had. Before that, the largest one was uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet and Scarlet. Violet. Before that was Platoon 3. But it was huge. It was really cool. And uh, we did we did do like a little raffle and sort mm -hmm. of event. Um, that is something that we discussed that we would like to do in the future if we get oh, a lot of pre-orders. So went, if you guys... went really well. I thought it was fun. Yeah. 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 So if you guys want to see more stuff like that, definitely uh, feel free to pre-order here. And, you know, anything that we get kind of a bigger chunk of pre-orders or bigger releases, you know, I'm thinking maybe Mario or Pokemon games would likely yeah. Yeah. bring... Mostly people tend to pre-order Nintendo stuff. Yeah. Very much. Usually we don't get that many pre-orders for anything on PS5 or, or Xbox or yeah. anything other than like first party Nintendo. You get like 10 to 15 pre-orders and that's it. That's the money bags. That's all it is. I don't know why. People like to collect on Nintendo and not the others. I don't know why. Yeah. It's good. It is good. Yeah. There's good it's, stuff it's on good. Nintendo. Jorge, you've played Tears of the Kingdom. Uh-huh. What, what, what are your thoughts? As spoiler-free and as vague as possible. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, honestly, uh, I, I love Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is fantastic. I beat that game like four times. Um, so once I uh, picked up uh, Tears of the Kingdom, that game just off rip is so intense and though I, I really like kind of how they implemented the teaching you the new mechanics on the on the floating islands uh, honestly i really enjoy how much the world is expanded in tears of the kingdom compared to breath of the wild i am loving every part of the skydiving aspect of the game it's so good do you do you think it'll win game of the year oh it is i think it will i i i, I honestly think it it's, it's it's it probably will it probably will it's got some strong contenders but i'm pretty sure it's like it's like right in there for game of the year i don't i don't think there's in any way no. Any contenders? I don't think there's any way it's not winning game of the year. It's a Zelda game. It'll, it is a Zelda it'll, game. It'll win game yeah, of the year. It'll, it'll... What do you think so far, Marvel? Well, I've only played about 15, 20 minutes. I finished the first little temple. I got the little ability to glue things together. And uh, that's about it. But so far, it's real good. I like it. Is I it... never beat Breath of the Wild, though. So Is this the best 15 minutes of your life? No. The horse mechanic suck in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> that's a hot yeah. take. They suck. That it's is, not Elden Ring. That is a hot take. My horsey, my horsey and Elden Ring can do a double jump. <laughs> I love the power of editing. <laughs>